Hey guys, so the countdown's on and 24 hours this will be packed with tons of people watching the Rose Parade making a mess and burning fires which kind of sucks it fucks up our air quality but hopefully they cut down on that as much as possible but as you can see this is Colorado Boulevard the Rose Parade is coming here rain or shine they say it might rain tomorrow and it's rained before on the rose parade for those of you that know me and know my channel know that i grew up here and i probably watched oh my gosh at least 30 parades because <laughs> i bought my home in pasadena about 30 years ago and it was right here close to the rose parade route and then i also grew up in san gabriel valley and we used to come up here um and watch the rose parade so i've been watching it for many years i've camped out slept on the sidewalk before don't have to do that now but this whole street will be packed with people and i will show you that tomorrow i'll do a ride just after the parade uh ends and show you all the people if you guys care to see that but i wanted to take this time to mention that it's the end of 2023 2023 has been a great year for some not so great for others but if you are listening to this you're better than the people that can't watch videos or do anything because they're six feet under so you're not dead and hopefully you have enough health that you enjoy watching cycling videos because you're out cycling yourself and so make 24 a a reset if you will to keep yourself healthy and be healthier i told you three basic things and it's generated a couple comments about yes you should also weight train and i agree strength training and exercise doing gym time is important if you're into crossfit if you're into strength training or functional training that's important that you uh, enjoy yourself doing that this is what i love about the day before the parade is all the cruising of the classic cars I like old classic cars just like I like the classic bikes and all the craftsmanship that went into these custom bikes and custom icing bikes I enjoy cars too anyway so I wanted to just touch on that health and fitness aspect it's up to you okay it's on you it's up to you you are in control of your health journey and you need to take ownership of your own health we live in a society that for the most part let's face the facts if you have health insurance if you have a doctor if you have a health plan that you belong to it's not gonna benefit you unless you're proactive about trying to seek those benefits they are not going to take a deep dive and remind you to get your lab work remind you to take your medication remind you to do those preventive screen exams like mammogram or colonoscopy or eye exam 
it's not going to do any of that it's going it's our system is pretty much negligent of being a customer service orientated company uh, so i will talk more about that on my nurses to tech channel as i expand that and i'm actually going to make that one more professional as you know this is just a journal of things i like about cycling and fitness and talking about that so this is still the rose parade route i'm going to ride it all the way to the end or to the beginning i should say to orange grove avenue but it's uh you know it's a time that you cannot uh avoid thinking about new year's and the year to come and the year that you just finished and thinking about what can i do what are my goals to improve my life and to be able to do the things i want to do help the people i want to help support the causes i want to support those type of things and we've heard that term pay it forward and you know lead with kindness i agree with those things but you also have to remember you can only pour from a cup that's full and you need to take care of yourself if you don't have health and you're not keeping your health you will eventually become a burden to somebody else that will have to pick up the pieces push you around in that wheelchair take care of you in that bed all those things and America has a high percentage of people that are dependent on the government such a high percentage that they're overwhelmed they don't have the people or the I guess they have the people but they don't have people that actually want to do this I guess um, that will be taken care of the people that need that need health care and I mean that's I don't want to ramble on it like I said I'm going to cover that on my nurses to tech channel I'll put the link below but this is just to wish you guys a happy new year thank you for watching my channel thank you for the comments I feel like I'm benefiting from the crowdsourcing of of information on YouTube one of the viewers that watches my channel and met me on a bike ride suggested these rock geist uh, frame bags the one that I'm using right now um, many of you have commented on my bikes and different suggestions on or different questions about you know choosing a bike last year I got a lot of views on why titanium and yes it's an exotic metal that is expensive and not everybody can afford that but i like i like metal and if i didn't have a titanium bike for gravel i would probably have a steel gravel bike i really really love the way my steel mountain bikes feel I actually prefer my Escar Jaffe single speed to my my 7 Sola titanium single speed partially because the Jaffe is built with a different geometry but we'll see what the future holds and I do have a surprise that will be coming soon to show you I'll just tell you right now it's gonna be a new rig okay and i'm gonna make a nice video with showing you that bicycle and my thoughts that went into it and those of you that have been watching my channel probably can guess some of the things that went into it and why i chose the parts i chose and and the uh 
frame geometry and so on and so forth but um, I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I have the means to you know get the bikes that I want and I like and I realize there's a lot of people out there that are just gonna buy what they can afford and make do and make the best out of it and you know what a lot of those guys are way better cyclists than me and are better at wrenching bikes and better at riding bikes and they they're killing it and i have a lot of respect for them when i ride my local single track and i'm ripping down the single track it there's one guy i've always seen and he's been there for years he never wears a helmet but i think he's an ex european guy that moved here and he is riding an old cannondale an old bianchi he rides all these classic old mountain bikes that with v brakes there's no disc brakes or anything like that and he just rips and he is great and i don't know if he can't afford that or if he just is one of those people that just picks up old bikes and likes to fix them up and ride them i don't know i i've talked to him one time but i didn't you know i, I wasn't investigating him and um if you guys that ride brown mountain i think you know who i'm talking about and you'll see him he just goes up to the top he rides to the top and right back down the fire road doesn't do El Prieto, but he rips down the fire road and he rips up to the top. He is very fast. So I've watched him many, many years and he's a regular there. I think he probably rides at least five, six days a week. And when I was riding almost every day, I would see him almost every time I rode. We just happened to be on the time, same time schedule anyway here we are i don't want to make this video too too long with this part and i want to end it on a happy note telling you guys happy new year i appreciate the views and the comments and let me do a shout out to some of my favorite channels that i feel that you guys if you're interested in my content and want something that's even more informative please go watch steve at hardtail party to me that's one of the best channels um russ at path less pedaled that's also a great channel i like ryan van Duzer, um with his crazy long distance rides that he's done all over the world and i'm hoping to retire and maybe not duplicate what he's done but check off some of those routes that he's done on my bucket list i don't know if i'm down for the full-on camping out overnight and just relying on what i carry on my bikes i'll probably stay in motels just because i don't mind uh riding into the city and finding a motel and using my google to find a comfortable bed to sleep in i don't mind that but i do admire the fact that he goes hundreds of miles across the country and across different countries and i'm going to do some of that if you guys have been watching my channel all year you know i rode 85 miles in the philippines and i plan on doing some more long distance rides in the philippines but i'm also looking at other countries so you guys that are in other countries if you're watching this um give me a comment below and let me know if you'd like me to ride in your country with you would you like me to ride and and do a long distance ride and show me the cool you know gravel trails or mountain bike trails in your country i'm going to be riding both and um that's my plan, so I'll talk to you guys later.